We're going to take a look at the exclusive ore. This is what it looks like. It's an ore gate, and you have an extra like curved bar here, if you want to call it per se. And we still have our same inputs, A, B, our output of Z. And we denote it as X ore, standing for exclusive ore. Okay, it's a special case scenario of how it, it's kind of like the OR, but it's it's a certain cases that we're looking for. So if we still have our, our inputs here of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. All right. Now, what happens is, is we only want the cases where A is a 1 or B is a 1, not when they're both 1. Okay, so zero or zero here still puts us through the system as a zero. If we have a zero or a one, we get a one. If we have a one or a zero, we get a one. But here's where it changes from an or. If we have a one or a one, our output is a zero. And that's what makes it the exclusive or. We're only looking for the scenario where A is one or B is 1, but not where they're both 1. And we denote that this way. Okay, That means we can say A not B or not A and B equals Z. Another way we can actually write this okay, is A exclusively ORed, which is just our plus sign with a circle around it, with B. A is exclusively ORed with B. So how does that show up over here in the ladder work of things? All right, We have, we have the OR part, so we know that we're going to have something in parallel. Remember, AND is in series, OR is in parallel. All right, So when we draw this up, we're going to have a couple different scenarios here. Okay, and then we have our second part down here. And complete the OR pieces. And we have our output. That's still Q4.0, whatever we want to control over here. Alright, so this is still A, this is still B, this is still A, B here. But remember, Okay, we're using our inverter in this case. So in the, right here, this is you could do this one of two ways. Sometimes you can go you can go A then not B. So that would be this scenario. And then we have what? Not A and B. Either one of these is an exclusive OR. Notice these are still four separate I/O addresses. So this would still be I. 0 0.0. This is still I 0 0.1. This guy down here is I 0 0.2. And this is I 0 0.3 when we're doing our ladder logic. So this is what an exclusive OR works. Okay? This one's normally closed, which means what's going to turn this path on is if B goes to logic high and turns on, then this path is lit up not this one. Okay. The other scenarios is what? B is already normally closed. So all we have to do is close A because A is normally open. So once we get the signal, we close A or we flip the switch and it closes A, then this is our path. But the way this is set up, it's kind of a lock or a gate mechanism, is we cannot, regardless, if I turn both switches on, if I turn A and B on, this guy will still not come on. Okay, that's where our exclusive OR. We're only looking for the situation where A is 1 or B is 1, but not where they're 1 at the same time. 